Assembly Democrats today held what they're calling a science-based hearing on the wave of marine mammals washing up along the Jersey Shore in recent months, amid pushback by some Republicans who claim the increase in whale deaths is linked to offshore wind farms. Well, marine mammal experts continue to dispute that idea, pointing instead to the volume of vessels coming in and out of area ports, rising ocean temperatures and food sources moving closer to the beaches. Today's meeting comes just two weeks after GOP leaders held their own hearing on the issue. And as senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports, the two sides aren't getting any closer in agreement on exactly what is to blame. We are obviously very distressed over the increase in large marine mammals washing ashore. And a panel of Trenton lawmakers today looked for answers to why nine whales and 28 dolphins have stranded in New Jersey since December 1st. It's a scientific inquiry, but also a hot political question caught up in opposition to the Murphy administration's offshore wind development, which some have blamed for the mortality spike. It prompted pointed exchanges. Do you think there's an opportunity that we need to take a step back 60, 90, 120 days and try to figure out what's affecting them? If, if you can't answer that question for certain. The idea that we don't know, we do know. We do know the changes to the environment in which these mammals exist is what is causing them. DEP Commissioner Sean LaTourette cited analysis showing a shifting underwater menu for whales driven by warming ocean currents. Food fish call Menhaden gather in large schools closer to shore. Whales follow to feed, but that puts them in the path of increasing port traffic and big ships. And we are seeing mortality of whales in many instances because of ship strikes. But Republicans on the Assembly Science, Innovation and Technology Committee wanted to know whether underwater seismic surveys by offshore wind developers played a role in whale deaths, and they questioned the scientific basis for La Tourette's explanation. It's a little hard for us to just assume that that affirmation is real. So I hope at some point, Mr. Chairman, that we have a scientist who can confirm your affirmation. Because if we just accept your affirmation as fact, then this debate is over. One researcher said how whales live and eat off the Jersey coast does require more study as their interaction with people increases. If this trend continues, there will be a continued increase in strandings in our waters regardless of what industry is operating off of our coastline. The head of Jersey's Marine Mammal Stranding Center, which examined six of the nine dead whales, noted evidence of ship strikes, but said they're still awaiting lab analyses, which could take months. This means that the final cause of death has not been determined. To assign blame before the scientific data is analyzed and interpreted would be premature. The committee did hear testimony from an expert on the phone about whether the offshore wind industry's ocean floor surveys could cause whale deaths due to seismic noise. The Duke University professor cited federal studies. None of the sources used for wind energy development, uh, as currently uh, laid out, have any chance of causing the mortalities that, that have been witnessed off the Atlantic coast. Full stop. But that answer did not satisfy everyone. We need to take a step back and, and see what's going on in our oceans and, and get a, a direct answer and not just assume. Um, we had testimony today that we know exactly what's going on. And um, then we had testimony that says they're waiting six months and 10 months to get information back. Today was about uh, gathering facts, uh, making sure that we have all the equipment necessary for us to make decisions as a legislature. Today's testimony didn't appear to change the minds of anyone on the committee. They're going to review all of the data and, if necessary, hold more hearings. At the State House in Trenton, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.